Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ Tutorials, and this is going to be the first of a series covering the Octane render by Otoy. We're going to be covering the download and installation part and a little brief overview of this engine. If you haven't yet, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. We also have a Discord server if you feel inclined to ask some questions or just collaborate with some other Blender artists, you can feel free to jump on there. And if you do feel like giving, I do have a Patreon and any amount that you decide to donate would be appreciated. Let's get on to the download and installation because I'm sure everybody is itching to get into this engine. And obviously this is gonna be the first of the series. And um, you know, I'll just let you know, like if, if you're newest or you're new to my channel, I like to take the time to make sure everybody understands these things a little bit easier than um, some other channels that sort of briefly go through this stuff like a super brief overview. So we're going to be just covering the download and installation part and some basic stuff. So what you need to do is you need to go to this website here, home.otoy.com, and you need to make a login. So go up here and make a login and ensure that it's working and all that stuff, and then come back and we will continue on with this video. Okay, so once you're here, you can take a quick look and just kind of browse around. This is a really wonderful engine. Um, if you haven't known or if you don't know anything about it, this is a very, very fast, very good looking engine. And a lot of professional studios use this, boutique studios, large studios, all that kind of stuff use this engine because of its speed and because of how good it looks. And it used to be a uh, payment subscription only, and they have released some versions available for free, which is definitely worth learning, especially if you want to get into professional creation of CGI and all that kind of stuff. You definitely want to learn this. Now, I will tell you right now that there are some limitations so if we go to the support section, you can take a look at the hardware sec uh, suggestions here. And you can see here that it's all GeForce. It's all NVIDIA, okay? So basically, from what I understand, the CUDA uh, API, which is used in NVIDIA, is the only thing really working right now. So um, for the time being, really, NVIDIA is the way to go. I know that they do have a... Uh, download an installation for the Mac operating system, and you'll have to test it out to see if it works with Metal and all that kind of stuff. But pretty much, if you're a PC user like I am, CUDA is the way that we are going to be going forward. So if you don't have one of these GPUs, that kind of sucks. Um, but it, it just is a limitation of the software at this time, and it's how they're able to basically specialize and make that particular rendering engine very, very fast. And you'll see right here that for hobbyists, it's recommended that you have one to two GPUs. On the free version, you can only use one GPU at a time. Now, I have a 3090. I have a single 3090, and this is not a problem for me. If you're a boutique VFX company and you want to build this out to have, you know, more of a professional sort of setup for uh, rendering, you do want to start to pay for some of that because you will start to see savings when you start to use these uh, multiple GPUs and stuff like that. So what you want to do from this point here, and let's go back to the main page. If you go up here and you click on downloads, you're going to get this page and it says here, your account is not licensed for any Octane render products. And this can get a little bit annoying. So if you go to the licenses, it says no licenses, subscriptions, I have these right here. So basically what these are is uh, the free standalone download. And if you ever get anything locked, or if it seems like you can't get into it, you do have these unlocks here where it will automatically shut down the connection or the linkage to their server so that you can open up the render engine and the software again without having any issues. And this is basically to keep the user count down so you can't have multiple users using the same license. So then you might go over to the download section and it says here, your account is not licensed for any Octane render products. And you're like, okay, well, I guess that's it. I guess I can't do this. So what you need to do here is you need to go back to the main page and you need to go, let's see here. We go down to Octane render at the very bottom here. And you can see that there is the page there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this URL and I'm actually gonna put that link in the video description below so you don't have to find this. But basically you wanna go here, you wanna go down to where it says free trial, and here you're gonna see a couple different things. So for a Mac OS user right here, it says Octane X, free trial offer, Mac OS Big Sur, 
basically just download this and go from there. But I do not have Mac. If I end up do getting a lot of uh, patrons and they want me to start doing some Mac videos, I would have to buy one. So it'd have to be a pretty good donation for me to start doing that. But anyway, there is a Mac download, but we're gonna go over here to the Octane Render Prime free tier. And here is where you can click on Try Now and you can download for Windows. And what you need is both the Download Blender Octane Render Edition and the Download Octane Server Prime. You need both of these and you need to install both of those in order to use this. So you click on that and you click on that and it will download these. And once those are done, we can open those up to start to install these. While this is downloading, you can take a moment to go over here to the right and see where it says, see the manual for further info. So we can open this up into a new tab and you can start to read about this engine and how to basically install this. So the thing is that this is a little clunky and I love this engine and I love, you know, Otoy for allowing us to use this, but the download and installation is a little bit tricky. So you can see right here, it says that when you start to install it, you want to run it as administrator. So make sure you can do that on your computer and install it to the proper directories. And you can follow this information here to install everything. And it's pretty straightforward there. There's also a Mac OS version here where you can download, where it can show you how to uh, install that on the Mac OS and also Linux for those of you who are using Linux. There's also a whole bunch of stuff over here on the left that covers the Octane shaders, the textures, Octane lighting, stuff like that. And just remember that these are written by developers usually or people who are particularly um, skilled at technical writing. And sometimes the way it's written is not the way that an artist would sort of understand these things. So that's why I make these videos is to try and help everybody out in understanding these things, because there are many times that you'll be reading some of these and it won't make any sense to you. And that's why you come to this channel. So I definitely understand that, but I do recommend that you save this location and I'll put it in the video description there uh, at the bottom of this video. Save this so that if you do get lost, because there aren't a whole lot of videos out there to cover this engine, um, copy this, keep it somewhere safe so that you can open it up and easily reference this when you get stuck. Cause I have used it a lot of times in order for me to, uh, really understand what's going on in this engine. So let's jump back over here. These are finished. So let's show these in the folder. And here we are right here. We have these two right here. So when you install them, right click and you'll run it as administrator, you'll go ahead and follow the installation right here and then we will get started to open this up so go ahead and install those follow the information here i'm not going to uninstall it and install it just for you guys sorry to do that but i don't want anything bad to happen with my license keys or anything like that so go ahead download and install it and run it and then i will see you in a moment okay so now you should have two of these you should have an octane server shortcut and you should have one that's called Blender-Octane. So it's basically a standalone version of Blender. You need both of these in order for you to use this engine because this server will link up to make sure that the licensing is correct. And then this is actually how you're gonna start doing your rendering and shading and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and open up the Octane server shortcut. And you might not see anything um, happen. And if you Take a look, and unfortunately, I have the uh, screencaster on this screen here. Let me see if I can show you what the uh, what this looks like when it's actually open. Okay, so I just opened up my other display capture here, and you can see over here in the bottom, if you click this little arrow here, there's an Octane, uh, see where it says Octane Render Prime. So if I uh, right-click on that, go to Activation, you see it says right here, Octane is not activated. Okay, so what you need to do before you open up your Blender uh, file, okay, before you open up that Blender shortcut, you need to click on this activate button and mine should be already set. You can see right here it says DJ tutorials and it says online and all that. You should be able to sign in with your account information that you built in your account. And if you feel like you're having any issue, what you wanna do is you'll want to go over to where it says downloads on the Otoy website, make sure that you're logged in and go over to subscriptions. And you should be able to see this right here. You should be able to see your licensing 
and that you have this installed, basically. And you can see that it's active on that particular desktop, and you should be able to see this. And you can see here that says paid up to UTC uh, 2021-0606. So it looks like this is only going to be available uh, until June 6, with, which kind of sucks. But, you know, hopefully they extend the license a little bit further so that people can get their hands on this and start to look at it. Okay, so once you have that all taken care of, go ahead and double click on the Blender Octane icon. And it will open up just like this. And you can see right here that it's using version 2.91.2. And we're going to just sort of cruise around a little bit in here. So over here on your render settings, you want to change this to Octane. And you can see here that there's a lot of settings here with the Octane kernel, Octane server, all kinds of stuff over here on the right to take care of or to play with. Um, hold Z, change this to rendered. It all works exactly the same as any other engine as far as the viewport. And there are some major major differences in how this calculates lighting, how it does the environment, how it renders, and all of that kind of stuff, which we will be covering in later tutorials. So hopefully this video helps get you started and answers any questions that you had about downloading and installing this particular engine. Again, you're going to have a little bit of a tricky time with all the licensing and stuff like that. It's just part of the subscription service sort of... Um, MO right now with all these other companies making things like this. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. It might take a little bit of time to get you uh, situated to get this started, but you'll, it'll be well worth it once you have it installed. So just a little example of what you can do with this. I'm going to go ahead and open up the session that I made for this particular video's thumbnail. And here we have a scene that I made uh, with the Octane Render logo. And when we change this to rendered here, it does take a moment. You can see right here, it says render target, evaluating server, all this sort of stuff. And you can see that right out of the gate here, there's already some really, really awesome rendering effects that we're seeing right out of the render window here. And it's very, very, very fast. In other engines with the depth of field that I have on here and the amount of reflections and all this, this could take quite a bit of time and it is incredibly fast to run this engine. So hopefully that whets your appetite a little bit to get started on looking at this engine. Make sure that you subscribe so you can see the future episodes as they're released regarding this specific engine. And I will see you guys next time on DJ Tutorials.